Today, I am here with my parliamentary secretary, Soroya Martinez, to announce that I have just tabled the 2020 to 2022 immigration levels plan in the House of Commons. My name is Wolo. I want to say a very big thank you to everybody who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I share content about immigrating to Canada and life in Canada. And yes, as usual, you know my day one subscribers. Thank you to all of you. I really appreciate you guys um, for always watching my videos anytime I upload videos. And yeah, a lot is already going on, and we are praying seriously for the world to be healed. So that we can go back to our normal lives. I personally, to be sincere, I'm already tired of sitting at home and I just can't wait to go back to the things I used to do before, like, you know, just being free and not suspecting anybody that just sneezes or coughs around me, you know, that kind of thing. So today's video is about the immigration updates and what's currently going on. Although the video I played was um, actually done in March, I'm going to be playing the remaining part of the video so that you have an understanding and some of the updates I've actually shared them on the social media handle that's the Canada Info Hub Instagram page um, for the Facebook page please bear with me I don't know what is happening there I'll try to see how I can start posting things um, on the Facebook page for now it's just the YouTube and the Instagram page that is very active when it, when it comes to um, updating information about immigrating to Canada and life in Canada the proposed plan is based on the solid economic foundation of the previous levels plan and in keeping with my mandate letter from the Prime Minister, continues to responsibly grow the number of permanent residents admitted to Canada each year from 341,000 in 2020 to 351,000 in 2021 and 361,000 in 2022. Our plan will benefit to all Canadians because immigration drives economic growth, contributes to our diversity, spurs innovation, and helps employers across the country access the talent that they need to succeed and to thrive. So the first update is regards to um, essential workers getting work permits to come to Canada. So anybody who is an essential worker, like um, a farmer, a healthcare worker, those are the only people who are allowed to come into Canada. Recently, a chartered flight from Jamaica brought in about 228 farmers from Jamaica. So they chartered the flight and brought 228 farmers to Canada um, to start the farming period, the farming season. So this is a season where farmers start farming and planting seeds and harvesting some things. Um, those people are very essential to Canada's food industry so they had to like let them into Canada and then they have to self-isolate for 14 days before they can start working in the farms and I know some people will now start asking me questions how how is it possible for people to get farm jobs it's very possible to get farm jobs especially if your country has an agreement with Canada and most of these farmers, their countries already have an agreement with Canada to bring in seasonal farm workers to come and start farming during, it, during this period and then during winter they go back to their country. So if your country is among these countries like Mexico, Jamaica, Guatemala, um, I can't remember one other country like that, about four or five countries, Canada has an agreement with these countries to bring seasonal farm workers to come and farm in Canada and um, if you are a farmer and you know that you have the experience and what it takes to farm in Canada there is no harm in applying for jobs in those places um, to become a farm worker in Canada and you might be lucky you can get a job offer to come to Canada to work as a farmer and one good thing is that there is a stream the agri pilot stream that was supposed to start in March it has been extended to May so um these farmers can take advantage of these opportunities and become permanent residents in canada so instead of going back and forth they can just remain in canada and work during um peak season and then off season they are not working they'll be receiving um 
employment insurance benefits from the government so once the pilot is launched i will let you know but in the interim you can start applying for farm jobs in canada um yeah it's a very low skills job it doesn't require so much if you need a canadian standard resume of course you have to send an email to my email so that i can refer you to the hr professional that can draft a canadian standard resume for you so that you can be able to apply for the farm opportunities in canada second update second immigration update is with regards to the permanent resident uh processing and study permit processing study permit processing is still ongoing and i think the last time i mentioned that people already have their visas before 18th of march and are still outside of canada they can start their classes if their classes are online and it will be counted towards postgraduate work permit for them but for people who want to still apply to come to Canada as students for the fall semester, that's September semester or December semester, winter semester, you can go ahead and submit your application for study permit. And um, if you're successful, and we hope that by September these issues must have ended, then you can come to Canada um, as a student. So that's for, for study permit. Then for permanent resident application, the processing is still ongoing, although it is quite slow, but the processing is still ongoing. So far, I am not aware of anybody who has gotten a um, passport request because once you get a passport request notification in your email, that's when you know that your application is successful. But so far, I am not aware of anybody who has gotten a passport request this period, but the process is still ongoing and express entry draws have still been going on. Um, they have actually been inviting people who are already in Canada and under the canadian experience class so i'm thinking that they will continue with those group of people until this issue is over before they can now start the normal um invitation for federal skilled workers program where they will incorporate all the streams together so that's it the processing is still ongoing so i think i've already updated it on this channel on the community page yeah so if you're asking i have applied for my processing um the six months timeline is over just be patient we are hoping that once this issues is over you'll be able to get a notification in your email for your passports um yeah so that's number two update now the third update is about new brunswick like i posted on the canada info hub instagram page New Brunswick has an information session, online information session for francophone nurses, for bilingual nurses. So if you know a nurse who is bilingual and can speak French and has evaluated his or her credentials and has written the test, the Evaluation Française and IELTS, please tell the person to sign up for the information session. It's an online information session new brunswick is organizing in the month of may and this will lead to giving people codes especially if they have an express entry profile with that they can get a nomination from new brunswick so these are the updates that are currently going on um for immigration and um i hope to continue the frequently asked questions sometime during this week where i'll be able to answer some other questions concerning either provincial nomination, express entry, business related investment or whatever. A lot is happening even with the current situation but at a minimal pace and uh, we are hoping that in the coming weeks and months um, things will ease up as uh, we try to fight what is actually happening around the world. So that's the information I want to share today. Thank you so much for watching and I am hoping that you keep safe, um, wash your hands, stay safe and please um, keep yourself alive so that uh, you can actually immigrate to Canada if that's the goal of immigrating Thank you so much for watching share this video with your friends and family And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell whenever I upload a video You will be the first to know. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye. Bye